Well, this is the weirdest looking chili plant I've ever grown. Hello and welcome back. My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump. It's been a little while since I did my last garden update and that's because not a whole lot has been going on. It's still early season, but uh, I think you'll be impressed with how things are going inside the greenhouse. So let's get straight in there and see how the plants are doing. It's always tricky this time of year because the temperatures are fluctuating quite a lot. At night time you can easily get into the minus temperatures, so freezing temperatures, but in the daytime we're up to 20, 21 degrees Celsius and inside the greenhouse of course it can get up to 30 or 40 degrees Celsius. But uh, it's still a little risky and that's why I have the heater on over there, well not on, but it switches on if the temperatures get too low to avoid the frost. But the plants are doing well. I have quite a lot of progress here. Um, some of the bigger ones like this, this is a tomatillo, it's not a chili pepper. But uh, we have some tomatoes over there. You can see that the chilies are doing well though. And I actually have a few chilies coming through. They're in a real rush this year. This one over here, well we have a lot of flowers. I have picked off a few of the chilies that have come through. but. They are really looking healthy and I'm tempted to actually just get them all potted up but I know it'll be a bit soon. We'll probably have a bit more cold weather before we get properly into springtime. Let's have a look at some of the plants and see how some of the individual ones are actually doing. This one over here I think is a Ramiro. Let me just check that. Uh, scan my tag. And yeah, that's a Ramiro yellow and it was planted January 18th, pretty much the same as most of my other plants, but because it's a capsicum anum, it's going to be a little bit keener to be throwing out some chilies than maybe the capsicum chinens, you know, the super hots, but yeah, this plant probably could be potted up, but uh, yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit longer, probably another week and a half, two weeks before we pot up to the final pot size for most of my plants. Let's take a look at some of my super hots. I think this here is a super hot. You can see by the leaves. Yeah, it's a seven pot primo again planted January 18th. You can see not as big. If we take this over to the Ramiro, you'll see the size difference, but still impressed with the size. Um, so that there's the Ramiro and that one there is the seven pot primo. So the seven pot primo is putting out a lot of good growth, but uh, no flowers just yet and that's to be expected. And that also will be potted up pretty soon. Some of these others here that are pretty large, uh, again, probably a capsicum anum. Um, yeah, another Ramiro yellow, got quite a few of those. They do taste good. Let's take a look at the Fushimi that I showed. I actually think it looks beautiful. It is a Fushimi and it's not meant to look like this. This is literally just a bit of a genetic anomaly going on, uh, but it has got some flowers. So I might get some peppers off this and might be able to save some seeds and see if we can continue this look because, wow, I mean, look at that leaf. They're all a little bit strange, but the plant seems healthy otherwise, except for those weird leaves. So yeah, we'll keep updated throughout the season with how this plant gets on, but it's looking healthy and looking very interesting. But the plants are looking healthy, loving the growth. There's a few here that I'm really excited about. I mean, look at this growth. That's just stunning. Just lovely thick growth. I think this is KS, yeah, KS Lemon Starburst. And again, it was started on the 18th, but just look at that. This thing is going to be a beast. Can't wait to pot it up. But as always, just has some beautiful, beautiful growth. Love the leaves. So yeah, we've got a lot of great growth going on in here and it's looking to be a far better season than it was last year. You may notice I'm doing a few experiments here. These are Kratky systems. 
I'm not growing lettuce, I'm actually growing some pak choy. So these here are pak choy. You can see the root systems are starting to get bigger. <laughs> Those definitely were not that big even a week ago. But these are doing well. It's got a few in some old buckets that I had lying around. This one here, try something a bit different. This is a cauliflower. Uh, it's growing a lot slower than the pak choy, but I will do a video in the future just talking about this if you guys are interested. I'm doing some experiments with different types of nutrients for these cracky systems, so we'll see how that goes. And over here we have some of my vegetables starting out, so these are some squashes. We'll get those outdoors in a little while. Uh, we have some corn starting here. I have already put some corn out into the garden, but I just started some more because we're going to be growing quite a lot of corn this year. Here's a quick look at my bonchi. This one here is doing all right. They were indoors for quite a long time and just not getting a lot of sunlight. This one here is, like I said, doing okay. It's got a couple of nutrient deficiencies, but it will recover soon enough. This one here is <laughs> not looking great. Uh, it's starting to show some new growth, so that's good. But yeah, it had a major aphid attack and we sorted that out, but I'll need to trim this back. It hasn't died, thankfully. Like you'll see, we have got some new growth down there. So we will get this back to looking healthy. But we'll do a, an episode on these. I'll show you how I take care of them, how I get them to come back to looking great again. A few more vegetables starting out here. These are some runner beans, not come up just yet. Got quite a few runner beans and uh, some squashes as well over there. Got some tomatoes and some chilies as well. So these here will be outdoors and uh, I'll show you what my plan is. Uh, let's actually go look outdoors and see what we're going to be doing out there. I am roasting in here. It is uh, 25 degrees inside the greenhouse at the moment. And um, yeah, this, this weather is just getting better and better. It's quite early in the morning at the moment. But it's just lovely to see and a bit easy to get excited about what the weather's looking like. But I do know that before the end of April, we're probably going to have another cold spell. But have a look at our raised beds. A lot of work has gone into this. You can see it looks a little different to the last time you would have seen it. We put a few new raised beds. So you can see there's another three down the center. We've covered over the grass here with some wood chips just to make a bit of a path. And uh, we've kind of sectioned this whole area off. It helps with mowing, but also I like a segmented area. Down the center here is where I'm going to be doing some interesting things. You can see I've kind of got like a, <laughs> a washing line running across there. But this is what I'm going to use for supports. Over here, this bed here will have tomatoes or chilies so one of these beds uh, one on each end one will be just tomatoes one will just be chilies and we're doing some experiments with growing them outdoors uh, there's automated irrigation in here as well which i've connected up to my main irrigation system inside the greenhouse so i can control that all automatically uh, don't think i'll have to use it too much but uh, at least the option is there if i need to and it'll really help if i want to feed and that sort of thing so yeah, these two beds, I need to fill them up. That's part of my jobs today. Putting compost in here, uh, kind of like what we did over there. My artichokes are doing quite nicely. Uh, this is still from last year, and I'm sure we'll start getting some artichokes coming through there very soon, but this is just doing amazingly. But we'll top up uh, these beds here with some more compost, and we'll get some vegetables started in there. I'm still deciding exactly how I'm going to plant out in this system here. The ones with the hoops are most likely going to be for cabbages and things like that. Things that uh, caterpillars will go and annihilate. Or like here, this is to keep the cat out because the cat was using it as a toilet and it's kind of worked. So these are my asparaguses. Asparagus? I don't know what the plural of asparagus is. Asparagus? No. Oh. But uh, we've just laid this down here. I'll be planting some cabbages today and uh, we'll be able to do some, some fun recipes later on in the year, some sauerkraut and uh, also I'll be doing some Napa cabbage in here. So we'll be making some kimchi 
And down the end there we have, where that green netting is, we have some garlic planted. So you can see that coming up. Kind of made a bit of a, an oopsie when it came to the garlic. I planted it upside down because I was in a bit of a rush doing it and uh, planted the cloves upside down. But it, it doesn't seem to have affected it too much. We have quite a few that have come up. A few that haven't, probably because I screwed up. And a few like this that... Ah, that'll come through okay but uh, yeah that to flip around so just make sure that you plant your garlic cloves root side down the pointy bit must face upwards not down but we have quite a few here up until that flag that's all garlic this side and I'll be doing some good stuff with that as well we'll be doing some black garlic a little bit later in the season so I can make some of my lovely chili sauce with black garlic over the side, I'm still, again, deciding what I'm going to be putting in. Uh, maybe onions? We'll see. Still deciding. It's nice having all the choice. We have loads of space now. Uh, of course, here you can see, like I mentioned before, the corn. Uh, it's doing well for the most part. Uh, we still have had some very windy days, and the corn didn't really like that too much. But they have actually grown quite a lot. These were not this big but they're looking good. Uh, some of these were not very happy, so I just covered them over with a bottle, and it looks like it's recovering. So it's a nice little tip there. Make sure you take the top off, else you'll have some problems. So I've got three of those doing that, and uh, oh, this one's not looking very happy. Might need to put a bottle over that as well. But over here, I'm gonna put some more corn, and uh, we'll be putting our squashes, um, coming over these archways so that'll be trailing over yeah back to the greenhouse like I said really happy with the progress so far the temperatures have dipped down quite low a few nights but thankfully I haven't had to use my heater the heater hasn't kicked in probably in the last week maybe maybe 10 days and yeah I'm happy about that it really saves on electricity having all these plants inside the grow shed it's great to start the season like that but it doesn't really help with the electricity bill uh, having all the artificial lights and the heating and everything else going on in here we have a decent amount of sunlight we have about 12 maybe 13 hours a day of sunlight and uh yeah, when the temperatures are decent at night, when they don't go below 5 or 4 degrees Celsius, then that heater doesn't kick in. So that's fantastic. The irrigation system, almost done with this. The coating is pretty much done. I just need to hook it all up, and then this will be all automated. You can see the drippers are in place. So I have got drippers in here. All that I'm going to do is flood these trays for now until we've potted up because I don't have enough drippers for all these plants that are in here because these are all, well, some of them are going to be in here but the rest are all going to be in that big greenhouse over there and that'll also have automated irrigation. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. As with every year, I get a little bit concerned when I do take my plants out into the greenhouse. I know I have the heater but if it gets really, really low temperatures, if it's like minus 5, minus 6 degrees Celsius, that little heater is not really going to do too much. Uh, I am just trying to keep the frost away, but it's a bit of a calculated risk. You really want to get these plants out into the sunshine as soon as you can. The sunshine is going to beat artificial lighting every day of the week. So I'm happy with the progress so far. It's definitely going to be a far better season than last year. Uh, it already is. And as soon as we get to pot these all up, we're going to see these things just get huge. And... Uh, I can't wait to share. There's, there's a couple of little things that I'm doing here. Uh, you might have caught sight of them when I was skimming past all these plants. But there's a couple of little things I'm going to be doing uh, this season that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. Some experiments. Uh, we're going to have some huge plants at the end of the season. So yeah, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you are because I promise you, you're going to love what's coming this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this update and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Until then, stay spicy.